fully aware that I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I am so effing tired of the amount of emotional labor that comes with dating black men. See, one thing about the truth is that you know exactly how it sounds when you hear it, right? If you're one of those ladies that is, in fact, black, but you've deconstructed from the black love rhetoric, and now you're in that free place of go where you're appreciated, go where the princess treatment lasts longer than the courting stage, go where you're celebrated and not tolerated, go where you're uplifted and not manipulated, then you're not offended by what this young lady just said, because let's just be very honest. Okay. There's nothing wrong with black love, and I love black love. I love my mama, and I love every other person that is, quote, black in my family. Black love is a great thing. You're talking about deconstruction. What are you, what are you talking about? Deconstruction of what, the South? Because you're sounding kind of racist right now. You sound like you don't like the skin that you're in. Stop blaming black men for every single thing, and your daddy is probably black. Do you say the same thing to him? What about your uncles and your brother? What about your son? Think about that. Right? As much of a generalization it is to say that dating black men comes with a lot of emotional labor, there's also a lot of fact that's involved in that statement. Right? No. We're, what facts? What facts? I hear no facts. And the only person that disagrees is someone that's A, a black male with an ego, or two, someone who's never dated a black male. Now, am I making this video to tell you to divest? Absolutely not. Do what your heart desires. You're making this video to tell women to hate black men. That's what you're doing. Let, let's just be honest. That's what you're doing. Don't try to sugarcoat it. Because you got an issue with black men. You want to tell other women to hate black men too. Same with the uh, first person in the video. But the definition of insanity is doing the same thing all over again and expecting different results. We cannot continue to ignore the fact that it's a very unique experience right it's kind of like i've talked about on youtube and i think on tiktok here that there's something about dating a rapper an athlete right we're not talking about russell wilson and sierra those are the outliers right but how many times are we going to see these same men typically black screw women over time and time again this is code for how many times are we going to see rich black men marry white women or date white women. That's what she's talking about when she's saying screw over. Or maybe the guy broke up with her and now he's with a white woman or something like that. You said don't use Russell Westbrook, don't use Sierra. They're outliers. But you're talking about people that are rappers with money. Or are you talking about the broke rappers in, in the garage still trying to sell the little CDs or something? I mean, what, what are we talking about here? I know what you're talking about. Can't have it both ways. Before you say, no, nah, I'm good. I'm not dating a rapper, right? Yes, it's a generalization, but it's also factual based on data. Does that make sense? And so if you know that a vehicle. First of all, before you start going into your vehicle analogy, just because you keep saying, does that make sense? That doesn't mean it makes sense. Just because you keep saying there's empirical data and there's data and it's proof, that doesn't mean there is just because you're saying it. Is likely to break down on you and you know that the safety rating has not been great and you go to purchase one anyway for the aesthetics, i.e. the Range Rover, then be prepared to have your car in and out of the shop. So she's comparing black men to cars and their viability and their time frames when they break down and all of that because you're you know you're going for the the flashy black man if you go for the flashy black man don't forget that you're going to have this this high cost and maintenance and you're just going to stress out and you're going to freak out because you're dating a black man it's coming right be prepared to be in a loner every couple of months be prepared to have your time interrupted every time you have to take it in for servicing does that make sense it's the same logic right as a woman, only you are responsible for your emotional health, right? And if you want to maintain a softness, you want to live well, but you do not want to be hardened, you got to be very, very specific about your type. Oh, so black men are the cause for all of that. 
if you get with the black man, you're going to be hard and you're going to be ruined. Your whole life is going to be misery if you get with the black man because, you know, no other man out there but black men cause that. That is the most ridiculous thing I've heard. And since you want to talk about the black man and, the, you know, you, you, she's probably, what, 30 some years old. Guess what you think? Oh, where did all these black men, where did they grow up? Single moms? Who taught them how to be a man and a woman? Single moms? Who pampered them and made excuses for them and made them soft, wimpy women, single moms? So the very men that you're complaining about are raised by these women like you. So maybe, just maybe, it's you that needs to change something. I'm sorry. And I know I've gotten this kickback a lot from my clients. Like, well, what happens if I'm only attractive to black men? Then I guess you'll never try nothing new. And I guess you'll continue to get the same results. And I guess you'll continue to look for a diamond in the rough, right? I feel this way about anything in your life that you notice is disrupting you. No, you don't. You're just using that as a mask. It's like you just went into Facebook. And for those of my editing people out there like me, you just went into Facebook, through a mask, put it on like 10% opacity and just painted it over a little bit to make it seem like that's what you're talking about. You don't care about women. Let's stop fronting. Your misery and you want company. So kudos again to that beautiful woman for speaking up because not a lot of us are saying this out loud. We are thinking it, but we're not saying it enough. If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Mary and I'm borderline obsessed with seeing women loved right the very first time. If that sounds like a cup of tea, definitely like and follow for more. That's the most ridiculous thing I've heard. Seriously. See, I'm going to tell you as a black man. The issue that a lot of black men have with black women is that black women don't feel like they have to change anything. They think that they're owed everything and they think they can do anything they want, talk any way they want, treat their man any kind of way they want, be disrespectful, and then claim like it's my truth. It's what I want to do. But when they go to work, they know how to behave. They don't treat their boss like that. They don't treat other men that are not black, that they're not uh, in a romantic relationship like that. So they choose to treat black men like that. It's almost like black men deserve like this attitude, right? Black men are tired of attitude. Black men like all women. There's not men like all women, no matter what color we are. We, it's not like we look at women and say, oh, she's black. I like her, but I don't like her because she's white. Oh, I like her. She's Mexican, but I don't like her because she's she's Indian. No, that's not how we think. That's not that's not what we do. We judge women on their actions and how they act. And one thing that we don't like and we don't tolerate is to sit there and watch a woman sit there and try to tear down any man, no matter what color he is. That doesn't give you any kind of kudo points to the to the men that are not uh, black because you're talking crap about black men, it's not gonna give you kudos to the women that are not black because you're talking talking about black men. It's not gonna even give you kudos to the black women that know better because you're talking about black men. You're just foolish. You're just bitter. And who is your daddy? Is your daddy black? Is your mama black? Is your uncle black? Your brother, your sister? I mean, come on, man. There's nothing worse than somebody that hates the skin in their end. If you close your damn eyes and you couldn't see nothing, you would still have to love the skin that you're in. So I will never be cool seeing videos like this from any race telling somebody that they don't like their own race. It's ridiculous. If I'm looking at a woman or I'm looking at somebody in general and they start talking about their own race, rather they're talking about a man or talking about a woman, I lose complete respect for them. Because if you're going to down your own race, that's who you are. So how much respect do you have for yourself to disrespect you? You. You're only here because of your African genes. What are you even talking about? Stop labeling all black men and throwing them up, throwing them up under this bus. That's why a lot of black men don't want to deal with black women that are like this. That's why a lot of black men leave women that are like this. And then they get mad when they see a, a black man with another woman that's not black. She don't even have to be white. She could be any race. What is he doing with that woman? Work on yourself.
because the women that came before you wasn't like that. The only generations of women that experienced this right here is the last couple generations of black women. The women before that were not like her, not like you and not like you. So think about that, ladies. If you want respect, it's earned. It's not given. If you want a man to treat you right, no matter what color he is, give him some respect. Show him some love. And if you have a black woman out there, you should be ashamed of yourself down in who you are, down in your counterpart. You really should. I'll never down a black woman. I'll say black women need to work on things just like I'll say uh, black men need to work on things. Or I'll say men and women in general. But I would never put down my own race. To hate a black woman is to hate my own mama. Check yourself and stop doing things just for attention and, 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 and to try to get likes. You also use that other young lady's picture on there because you figure she's beautiful and she looks better than you and she can get you the attention you need for this video. Stop playing. Anyway, y'all let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, go ahead and show me some love over there and give me a follow. I'd appreciate it. As always, have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.